Hey guys, Josh here again. Today, I'll be showing you my preferred way of loading a slingshot with one hand. This is a simple and efficient method that has served me very well over the past couple of years. Really hope you enjoy. This video is sponsored by Simple Shot Shooting Sports, one of the top suppliers of all things slingshots. If you want to check them out, you can head over to www.simple-shot.com or by clicking the link in the description. To get started, I'm going to take a few shots at my catch box down there with both a through the forks and an over the top slingshot so you guys can see how the loading process looks and then I will break it down for you in slow motion. So let's get to it. So there you go guys, that is what the process looks like. Now let's delve into the slow-mo and I will show you how it works. So I'm going to start with the through the forks method. As soon as I shoot, I'm going to drop my hand and point the forks of the slingshot down towards the ground. This will allow the bands to fall off of the forks if they happen to get stuck there. And this also provides a more consistent starting point for the process. As I am doing this, I'm going to start positioning the next round of ammunition into my fingers and then I'm going to swing the pouch up to my fingers and set the ball in the pouch. While I'm doing this I will be wrapping the top band around the fork and then I will pinch that in place with my left pointer finger. I will then start to transition my fingers out of the pouch and keeping the ball centered with my pointer finger I will create slack in the bands and wrap the bottom band around the fork. At this point I can take my pointer finger off of the top band and then I can start transitioning my thumb onto the top of the pouch and my right pointer finger out of the pouch into my pinch grip. And at this point I am ready to draw and fire. For the over the top slingshot the process is exactly the same except you do not have to wrap the bands around the forks. So after I shoot I will drop my hand just like before and position the next ball into my fingers and then swing the pouch up to my fingers and set the ball in the pouch and this time because I don't have to wrap the bands around the fork I can simply reposition my fingers and draw and fire. Now if you get a twisted band you will have to untwist it while doing the other steps so I like to drop my hand just like before and then position the ball in my hand in a way that allows me to have my pointer finger and thumb free and then I will swing the pouch up to my fingers and begin to untwist the pouch with my pointer finger and thumb and then I will reposition the ball in my fingers so that I can set it in the pouch and at this point I can simply reposition my fingers one last time into my pinch grip and draw and fire. For through the forks, everything is exactly the same, except now I need to wrap the bands around the forks as I untwist the pouch. So as you can see here in this clip, as I grab the pouch, I will wrap the top band around the top fork and pinch that in place with my left index finger. And then as I untwist the pouch, I will create slack in the bands and wrap the bottom band around the bottom fork. And then all the other steps are the same. This seems to be generally how I do it, but I'm sure it differs slightly depending on what kind of twists I get in the band. Assessing if a band is twisted and being able to untwist it while doing the other steps is one thing that will come with practice, and eventually you will do it without thinking about it. Well, there you go guys. That is my preferred way of loading a slingshot with one hand. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped you, and I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave me a like or a comment down below and please consider subscribing for new videos coming every other Tuesday. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.